Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 vehicles that every player should own in GTA Online. Uh, so this is going to be vehicles that I think are just very useful. Uh, vehicles that serve uh, certain purposes and uh, just general recommendations that I have uh, for you guys to uh, pick up and add to your collection of cars or uh, other vehicles. So uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. So starting off at number five, we have the Ocelot Jugular. Uh, this thing is all wheel drive, uh, sounds super good, has really good handling and also just pretty good performance overall. It's also a four door, which uh, I always try to try to recommend because if you got a bunch of friends that you're trying to carry around, definitely a four door is the way to go. Um, so anyway, let's get into this thing and uh, let's take it for a little, little spin. Um, so, like I said, very good performance, um, really no complaints, um, I don't know, very good car, sounds super good, looks super good, just an overall, just pretty fantastic car, I think, so, yeah guys, uh, let's move right into number four. So guys, at number four, I have the dubs to 6x6, uh, this thing is very unique, very cool. Uh, if you've seen my customization of it, you know that I highly recommend it. Um, it is actually six-wheel drive, and it is a fantastic off-road vehicle. Um, it's very unique. I don't ever see anybody driving this thing, which is uh, unfortunate because it's, it's a very cool car uh, or truck, depending on what you want to call it, I guess. Um, but yeah, super, super good performance too, actually. And uh, at a very low cost, this thing costs, I believe it's 249000 if not it's 250 Um So, for the money, I think it's probably one of the best off-roaders you can get in the game. Other than like the Mesa, like the uh, Meriwether Jeep, that thing is, that thing is also very good. Um, but it, that thing doesn't have the speed that this thing has. Um, this thing also drifts like really well if you guys are into that if you want to drift a truck for some reason um, This thing can do that for you um, Yeah guys, but very good performance on this thing honestly pretty good handling too for such a huge uh, heavy vehicle um, Yeah, I'd highly recommend getting this thing especially for how cheap it is so anyway guys Let's uh, let's move into number three so guys, at number three, as you can see here, I have the Buzzard. Uh, the Buzzard is the third vehicle that I would recommend for every player to own. Uh, this thing is very, very useful. Um, obviously has the lock-on missiles, as you guys can see right, uh, right here. Which is always a nice feature to have. Uh, also, if you're a CEO, you can spawn it in anywhere right beside you for free. Uh, which is a very powerful tool, obviously. Um, I really like the Buzzard. It's a uh, it's a very OG helicopter. It's been in the game since since release, pretty much. Uh, although you couldn't buy one right at the start, but now you can. So, uh, yeah, definitely would recommend the Buzzard to anyone. Uh, it's definitely one of the fastest ways around the map, other than spawning in, obviously, like a Hydra or something and flying around. But uh, yeah, very useful. Um, if you need a helicopter to get around really quick, definitely the Buzzard is your best option. It's also probably your cheapest, so yeah, super highly recommend it, and uh, yeah guys. Anyway, let's move into number two. So guys, at number two I have the Armored Karuma. Uh, this car, I've never really been a huge fan of it, but I would say I recommend it because um, if you're doing heists, that's really the reason I would recommend it, is if you're doing the Pacific Standard Heist, there is that glitch where you can get into the Karuma or any car, um, but this thing is very useful for that. Uh, the windows are bulletproof until you shoot out of them, or they're very near bulletproof uh, until you shoot out of them. This car's one fatal flaw, though, is that even though it says Armored Karuma, uh, it can only take one RPG and then it's done, so don't super highly recommend it. Honestly, I'd say get an insurgent before you get this thing, but uh, for how cheap it is and for the the usability and how quick it is and everything, uh, for most players it should be a pretty good vehicle. So I'd definitely say that I recommend it. 
Uh, anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for number two. Let's uh, let's move right into number one. So, guys, at number one, I have the Night Shark. Uh, the reason this thing is at number one is because I think it's better than the Karuma. Um, and I think that everyone should definitely own this thing. If there's one thing you take away from this video, get a Night Shark. Um, it's probably the fastest, most well-armored vehicle in the game. Uh, it's faster than the Insurgent Pickup Custom, which is its pretty much direct rival. Uh, this thing is more defensive focused than the Insurgent Pickup Custom, that's for sure. Uh, the reason that this thing is at number one is because, like I said with the Karuma, um, that the windows are pretty much bulletproof. This thing is the same way. Uh, you can shoot through, but it's it's obviously very hard. If it's a moving target, um, you're basically not going to hit them. Um, this thing also has the front mounted machine guns, which is a little offensive capability, which is kind of cool kind of helpful kind of useful so uh yeah definitely definitely think uh that's a good thing for this car um and like i said very fast um so i think this thing is pretty much the perfect package for a vehicle that would be useful to every player at some point in this game um which is why i have it at number one i think it's i think it's pretty much the best uh armored fast vehicle in the game so uh, anyway guys, I think that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what you think of my list. Uh, comment down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new around here, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, dislike. And uh, yeah, go watch part one of this series. It's, it's very early on my channel. It probably doesn't have very many views. So if you guys are interested in seeing the first part of this definitely go check that out because if you're thinking that there's any vehicles missing uh they might be in number one so yeah guys um anyway i hope you enjoyed the video um I'll, i will see you guys in the next one and until then take care peace